was born ready. Today we'll be reading from the book of Jeff. No, we don't want to read that Which is in New book. Testament. <laughs> we don't want to read that. It's like super new. It's so new we haven't even read. Run... We're recording. We're not recording yet, yes, are we? Yeah, we are. Are we recording? Oh, so today we'll read from the book of Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> it quite sounds. It's... No. Stop. Okay, okay. It's just the first stage one. Psst. Wait a minute. <laughs> Aloha, everyone. Aloha. Welcome to this edition of Talk Story in your home. We are continuing our lifeguard in series in your home. Oh, I thought she said foam. That's what I thought she said. In your <laughs> foam. It's like your face in your home. In your foam. It's like. <laughs> no. Can be if you want to. We're continuing the lifeguard series, and this morning's topic was to wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, Jeffrey. Wake. Wake, wake, wake up. Oh, it is. <laughs> if I wasn't <laughs> sleeping through it, I was like, I thought it was wait. Wake up, wake up. So wake. we'll go ahead and get started. From the story of Jesus calming the storm, we learn that in the middle of our storm, we are not alone. Jesus was only a few feet away from the disciples, and still they felt like they were all alone. Just like any predator in the wild, the devil wants to isolate you from the pack. Once he gets you all alone, he can attack and destroy. Not only is Jesus with us, but we have our pack, which is our church family. Oh, and we Hannah. need to stick together and encourage each other that we are not alone. You're not alone, Cal. Thanks, Jeff. I'm not with you, but you're not alone. <laughs> we'll get somebody down there because, baby, I ain't walking down with you. <laughs> so question like number that. one. Mm. Have you ever noticed that when you separate yourself from the fellowship of the church pack. Did she say what I thought she said? <laughs> it didn't. The enemy is quick to surround you with doubt and unbelief and even disconnect you from your church. Yeah, because what we just heard above, that the enemy wants to separate and, and conquer and divide and get you and eat you. So our fellowship with other believers is important to spiritual growth. <laughs> Have you ever felt alone? And if you're thinking, no, never felt that way, well, just think. Have you, you ever lie. <laughs> you have lie, you had... and you should not lie. <laughs> Repent. <laughs> have you ever felt alone? Like, have you ever been in pain? Have you ever think, oh, my gosh, I'm, I'm the only one that has to pay this bill? You know, those kinds of things. Been stressed out. Have you ever felt alone from church, from God? What can you do to help yourself not feel so alone? Get a friend, buy a dog. Look for opportunities to bless people. Oh. Yeah, those kinds of things. I thought you meant. Draw closer to God. Take it oh. one day at a time. I like getting a dog better. Oh, yeah. Can I just get a dog? Maybe pray. You could pray and, pray and get for a dog. dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, so the question was what? Have you ever felt alone? Okay, from, from church, church. From God. Alone from God. What can you do to help yourself not feel so alone? So go ahead. And pause now. Okay, welcome. No, back. wait, because Mark is like real slow. We got to keep it going. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> okay. There. There. That was Mark, if Mark. you didn't catch that by now, <laughs> you should probably not be running the camera on the, the computer <laughs> thing. Hey, we're back. Hey, we're back. Wow. Well, okay, you do the next one. I don't want to do the next one. Come on. I just want to make the little comments on the okay. thing. I don't okay. Wanna, the disciples underestimated the power of God. They thought they were going to die going in the die. middle of a crisis. Jesus crisis. was asleep. Have you ever been in a great time of need and felt like God was asleep? Mm-hmm. 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 That'll preach. Mm. God came to their rescue and said, don't be afraid. Fear is the opposite of faith. When we allow fear to consume us, we are unable to fill our hearts with faith. Even the disciples were full of fear instead of faith, yet God came to their rescue. It said even when the disciples, not even oh, yet. Right? even then. Even, even when? Even when. Even when. Maybe I should so that's why I'm here. <laughs> For correction. But he's laughing in the back. He's like, oh, that's not Kay. why you're here. You're here because nobody else would say what you have. <laughs> Number two, share a time in your life when God came to your rescue. Maybe it was getting you a job when you were unemployed or healing a broken relationship or you know if you're trying to think of things like oh god's never came to my rescue no he has were you full of faith (laughs) 
or full of fear? Depends. Did because you, did uh, you give up? <laughs> fear is not of God. No, not. So, so yeah. So there. Okay. So once again, your question is. Is your statement? Share a time. <laughs> no, your. Share your a statement time. is. No, it's a question. You got to pray. Okay. Share a time in your life when God came to your rescue. Were you full of faith or full of fear? Just like think of the video that we had on there. You know, they were going for the car. And oh yes. Yes. Our, Yes. So, okay. Now, look, extra long pause for Mark. Okay, okay. All right, you ready? Pause. pause. Get ready, Mark. Ready? Now. now. He's kind of slow. He's probably still pushing the button. Okay. Hold it. Hold okay, now it. it's past uncomfortable now. Okay, awkward. Keep going. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? Ready. Okay, Mark, Break thank you. We're back. <laughs> now watch, he just paused it now, and it's like. All righty. But, hey, they have awesome snacks and foods and stuff at oh, the house. Okay. When is your talk score here? Mark, Mark and Mary? Yeah, they do it Wednesday at yeah. 7. That's okay. Right. okay. Check them out. In Honolulu. Yep. It's okay. up the hill. Okay, next Plenty one. Plenty of parking. <laughs> oh, did I say that all out loud? <laughs> My mic is on, isn't it? Well, is that amazing? Hey, we're back. Going to number three. It says, when we come through the storm and, and see how God had us safe in his arms the whole time, mm -hmm. our faith becomes stronger. It's not comfortable to go through the tough times. In fact, it's downright unpleasant. But when we make it through victorious, when we make it through victorious, <laughs> I got to say it like that, victorious, <laughs> victorious, <laughs> we have grown and become mature <laughs> in our faith. <laughs> Those of us who are mature in our faith need to encourage those who are in the storms of life. <laughs> Number three. How ha. has God strengthened your faith ha. through this storm? Ha. Just remembering God's your father. Remember that story that that poem Pastor McConaughey shared, that invisible That's what you're supposed hand. to be talking about. Yeah, like just remember those kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> now that you have matured your faith, have you been able to help others? Have you been able to listen? And yeah, be what are you there? doing with that? Yeah. Now that you built it up and yeah. you got your faith, are you encouraging others or are you kind of like, you know, dude, no, I had I to suck this. it up and go through it? Yeah. You go fight the battle on your own because that's what I did, suck man. Suck it up, Buttercup. Suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> hey, Candy Britches, you only go out there and do your own fighting, okay? Man up. Okay, so once again, the question is, how has God strengthened your faith through the storm? Now that you've matured your faith, have you been able to help others? So you can go ahead and discuss that and pause now. Too longer? I don't know. If Mark didn't get it by now, he probably shouldn't <laughs> even be playing with the thing. All right, let's go with it. Hey, we're okay. back. We're back. I hope. Now he probably paused. Anyways, so... Let's see. As you close, pray as a group for each other's needs. Mm -hmm. And not, Lord, please let Jeff not be there next week. <laughs> That's not a proper prayer, and I forgive you. Keep in touch this week. Encourage and support each other. We are greater together. Pass the Bacana! Ah! Glory! <laughs> All right. Well. That's pretty much it. Yeah. That's it. So... Thanks again for joining a small group for those of you. Hey, and encourage somebody else to get in with the small group. Yeah. You know, I mean, whatever it takes, just yeah. go buy them food or something. or <laughs> Bribery always Bribery works. works. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, unto the Lord. Yes, it is. It's for souls. It works. Yeah. Okay. Money, yep, yep, money works. Money works. Money talks. We won't finish that because we're Christians now. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll I know everybody out there who wasn't a, not everybody was born a Christian. So <laughs> yeah. I know you guys are like, yeah, money, wine, talks, and does. Yeah. Okay. Yee. <laughs> You're a little fuzzy over my mouth. <laughs> Run out of walks. Okay. <laughs> Until next time. Until next week. Aloha. 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 Malama fono. See ya. <laughs>